Hi, we're the developers of SmartNote. Today we're going to show you what we've got in store for our 1.01 update. We've got several new features, some big, some small, and tons and tons of bug fixes, which we're sure y'all are glad to hear. Uh, some things y'all have reported that popped up that we can't even sometimes reproduce on our own devices, but we've been able to find a lot of the problems. Most of them, though, with you guys' help, we've been able to reproduce and figure out what was wrong. So, first thing we're going to look at is... <laughs> Probably something that was the biggest reported issue. Um, <laughs> I guess we could just tell you that it's fixed, but when we can show you, we might as well. Alright, we're going to make a new page here. <laughs> and we're going to insert a text area. And so, most of you, whenever you had problems deleting something, um, you would bring it up and it would crash, or you would click it and it would crash, and we figured out the root issue, and we have solved that. It should never crash again when you're trying to delete something. And if you had a notebook corrupted from something being deleted, well, that should be taken care of now. Although if it is a corrupted file, then you may have to delete it. But um, we have some good news on that front, too. So um, another thing on this text field is uh, something we've had a huge request for, and uh, we're excited to have it. And that is the ability to change text field properties after you've made it. You can change the size. You can change the font, you can change the color, you can do just about everything you can do in the regular menu. And the exciting thing is, you can also move them. So if I pick to move and resize, I can actually just go and build another one, and it will move it, its contents, and all of its properties. And of course, the wonderful working delete function. <laughs> so, now that we have that, um, there's a quick overview of just the uh, color settings. And, let's see here. We've also added in something that a few people noticed was missing from our demo video on YouTube, um, the full page text area that auto expands all the way down to the bottom. Um, it's up here, it's got the same text properties, you can change it however you want and it'll automatically wrap down to the end of the page. And um, you can change its size, font, whatever you want. And so um, that's nice, we're happy to have that too. Um, you unfortunately can't delete this one right now. Um, that might come in the next release, it depends on how much demand, you can always just kind of get rid of it. Um, let's see, what else we got? Um, also, some of you ran into issues on the last edition was um, a feature we never really publicly announced, and uh, we probably should have. In fact, we probably should have taken it out. Um, it was left over from whenever we were building the application originally, and we didn't have the nice delete hold down pop-up. And that was if you press the edit buttons twice, it would remove your text field without asking you. And... Uh, some people that inadvertently happened to, and we're really sorry, and we have an exciting feature for you on that front as well. Um, so we have taken out the double tap and edit button to remove it, <laughs> and um, hopefully that'll lead to a little bit less confusion. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, we have a new ver a new um, innovation here. A lot of you wanted to see us write with um, a stylus. And um, we're going to try to do that here. Um, I have a really, really bad stylus. Um, it's not a pogo sketch, which is what we recommend. It's a little cheapo freebie that came in a uh, a um, giant iPhone pack from Hong Kong. So if it doesn't work, bear with me. It's the stylus not working correctly. Um, as you probably noticed with most apps on the iPad, when you set your palm down try to write, things don't work right. It picks up your palm. It picks up spontaneous inputs. And whenever you actually want to write something then you have to hold your hand up, and whenever you're actually at an angle or in class, it doesn't work. And once again, there's that stylus not working. Um, so, what we've come up with is, it may not be the best solution out there, but we love it. Um, it's done wonders for us. And it's not in that menu. It's here uh, in Tools, and it's a palm ignoring area. You can draw it in any size you want. You can. Um, it actually moves with your hand, so you don't have to put it exactly where you want it and hit create. Now, the wonderful thing about this is anything in this area does not happen on here. And um, so I can sit here and draw at the same time and move this with me. So if I'm sitting here writing and I'm writing words, it will actually follow my hand while I'm drawing. So that way I can rest my hand on the screen. And um, so we're, we're really excited to have this feature. So we're going to go ahead and close that back out. And um, that was a leftover from me accidentally hitting a button twice. And we'll open this back up, and it opens right back up to where I was. 
And um, let's see, there we go. Got my drawing, my stylus not working. And so um, we do have that palm ignore area. And just to show you again, that way you kind of get a better idea of it. Um, and of course, it's going to die again when I press this because I hit that twice. Um, that will be fixed in the final version, by the way. We have um, not uploaded it yet to the App Store. We'll be doing this right after we get done recording this video. So I guess it's a good thing that um, we caught this again. So I'm going to draw this, hit Create, and it didn't go away. But um, anyway, you can see the general idea of how it works, and it will let you draw and move your hand around so you don't accidentally write on top of it. And of course, this is optional. If you would rather just write above it, you can just leave it out and um, it'll work just as well as it did before, maybe even a little bit better. We've got an improved um, hand recognition algorithm to where if you're writing and you accidentally touch down somewhere, it's not going to pick up the other touch while you're writing. It'll stay with the one you're drawing with. And so um, that's nice. So we're going to flip the page. And a lot of you had problems with accidentally deleting things, and that was completely our fault. We're really sorry that we left some of those features in there when they shouldn't have been. And so, what we're going to do here is, I'm going to type a little message here, and we're going to type, hello world, and I'm going to move this little cursor over here and put a little space there. I'm going to close keyboard, make a few little custom font properties, and make it bigger, I'm going to change it to Helvetica, make it green. Alright, that's all great if I have text there. Now, what happens if I accidentally go through and delete something wrong out of the widget list, or in a lot of your cases, accidentally got rid of something you really needed. And so we're going to go ahead and delete this. Now, there's no way to get it back, but there is now. We have a new feature called Recover Page. And when you press Recover Page, it'll pop up and ask you, Recovering a page will undelete all deleted widgets that you have ever had on the page, including their contents and settings. It won't affect any drawings you have on the page at all, so you can safely use this feature and not lose your drawings or any other page stuff, and it won't delete things you already have on there. So I'm going to hit Recover, and it's going to bring back anything I had on the page. And this works for every page in every notebook, not just the ones that have been created in this version. It will work with ones you already have, and um, we're really happy about that. And a lot of you have been asking for an undo function. Um, uh, we haven't been able to write a really complex, unlimited undo function yet. Um, it is something we're going to be working on, but a lot of you were just having problems with accidentally making stray lines or other stray markings. And... Um, we're here to kind of remedy that. Now, uh, as you noticed, a lot of people are really frustrated that you have to go back and pick another pin or go back and turn stuff off when you pick an eraser. Well, now, when you're done with an eraser, if you just tap this, it'll go back right to your pin settings you had before. So if I go down to here and pick a yellow highlighter and I'm drawing with it, which yellow is probably not the best color to see right now, pick a green one. Green highlighter, I come and I pick a large eraser and erase it. Then... I can press this and get out of the eraser without even going into a menu, and I'm right back where I was with my pen. Now, let's say I didn't mean to make this writing. I can go into the little trash menu and hit Undo Last Drawing. It'll ask me if I want to undo it, and it's only a one-stage undo. You can't go further back than one drawing session. So if I make two lines, I can go back one line. And um, it's very limited usefulness. Some people may find it really tacky to do that. But to write a really nice undo system with a lot of the stuff this app is capable of doing that haven't necessarily been finished and ready yet, um, it's going to take some time. And so we went ahead and put in this page recovery feature and this um, single undo feature, and we hope you guys like it for now. Um, the one note is that these functions do not work if you hit clear page. If you have cleared a page, its widgets are gone forever. So that is a note. Um, we've also fixed the bookmark bug which is a huge oversight on our partner last release, um, where if you inserted a bookmark, it would actually lock the page turn buttons, and you couldn't flip pages. Well, we are pleased to say that you can now flip pages <laughs> after inserting a bookmark. And we're going to jump back to that page, and of course you can always delete a bookmark by swiping and deleting, and if you don't like this little flaggy thing, you can delete it like any other widget. Um, See what else is on our list here to demonstrate. Um, we fixed a number of issues where the little web browsers in the page, as well as the um, giant web browser crash when either playing a video or doing a lot of other things. 